Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example on automatic washing machine. So, let's look at the example first. Automatic washing machine. When start button is pressed, it starts filling water for 10 seconds then agitate for 30 seconds, then drain the water for 5 seconds, spin the drum for 10 seconds, and then buzzer will be on for 10 seconds. So, in this case, we will use a normally open contact for start button. And then for filling, we will use a timer TP. And then for agitation, we will use T on and TP and then for draining we will use T on and TP and for sipping and buzzer also we will use T on and TP. So T on will be used to delay and TP will be used to keep that output on for some time. So Let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder logic for automatic washing machine. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. So here is a description about the device we have selected. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for automatic washing machine. So I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button and then yes. Then I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. .0. I will represent it as filling. Yes. So when start button is turned on, the machine will start filling the water and it will be for 10 seconds. So here I will insert a timer here for filling the water and the timer should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 10 and then apply. So when start button is turned on, it will start filling the water for 10 seconds and then in those 10 seconds, there will be delay of 10 seconds for another output. So, it should be T on. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 10. So, after delay of 10 seconds in which it uh, fills the water, then I will insert one more coil and I will assign address to it as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as agitation. Yes. So after 10 seconds in which there was filling of water after that agitation will start and it will be for 30 seconds. So I will insert one more timer for agitation and that should be TP. 
I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 30 and then click on apply. So I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So when start button is turned on, filling will be done for 10 seconds. Filling of water into the machine will be done for 10 seconds and there will be delay of 10 seconds for agitation and after filling the water, agitation will start for 30 seconds. And then I will add a new rung here. Then I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0, .0 which is a start button. Then there will be again delay of 10 plus 30 that is 40 seconds and it should be T on. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 40 and then apply. So I will insert one more coil here and I will assign address to it as Q 0 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as drain. Yes, so the process of draining out the water will be delayed for 40 seconds when start button is turned on and in those 40 seconds in the first 10 seconds filling of water will be done and then in next 30 seconds agitation the process of agitation will be done and after 40 seconds that is after these two processes draining of water will be done and it will be for 5 seconds. So I will insert one more timer for draining and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 5. And then I will click on apply. Then after draining out the water, there will be process of spinning. So I will insert one more coil here. I will assign address to it as Q 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as spin. Yes. So for spinning to be on, there will be delay of 10 plus 30, 40, 45 seconds. There will be delay of 45 seconds. So I will insert a timer here for the process of spinning and that should be T on. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 45 and then apply. So after 45 seconds, after these three processes that is filling, agitation and draining, spinning will be done and it will be for 10 seconds. So I will insert one more timer for spinning and that should be TP. TP. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 10 and then click on apply. Then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. Then I will add a new rung for buzzer. Then I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0, .0 which is a start button. And then I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as Q 0.4. I will add symbol to it as buzzer. So for buzzer, there will be delay of 10, 40, 45, 55. So there will be delay of 45 seconds. So I will insert a timer here for buzzer and that should be T on. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 55.
once again preset value as 55 and then click on apply so after 55 seconds in which agitation draining of water spinning was done and after that time after 55 seconds buzzer will be on for 10 seconds so I will insert one more timer here and that should be TP I will change time base to one second and preset value as 10 then apply so I will exit full screen mode I will sorry So here I will click on this option and here I will draw a line like this. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go, will go to programming tab and click on full screen mode. So So when I turn on start button filling of water into the machine will be done for 10 seconds 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and after that agitation will be done for 30 seconds so we have used a time on delay here so for so as we have uh, set the preset value as 10 seconds and in those 10 seconds there was filling of water into the tank and then agitation was done after filling the water 21 22 23 24 25 26 7 8 9 30 and after agitation draining out the water will be done for 5 seconds and after that spinning will be done for 10 seconds here we have used delay timers and in those the, the previous process is happening and after that buzzer will be on for 10 seconds. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.